Good morning. Today we are going to talk about shade gardening. This is kind of a new area of gardening for me because I have always lived in houses that had a lot of full sun. And even this house that we're in now, we've been here, oh, just over 10 years. We never really had shade gardening because we were so busy getting the other areas of the yard in shape that we've kind of ignored this area along the back fence where the shade exists. But since we've caught up on so many projects and my husband has started his railroad garden, which is going to actually lead into the shade garden, I've been busy getting some plants to start filling that out because it takes a little bit of time. Most shade plants are gonna be your perennials and they take a year or two to really come into their own. I went to the nursery yesterday and I purchased this hosta. Isn't it beautiful? The thing about hostas is they will die down completely in the winter but then come back next year even bigger and with more hosta friends. So when I pick hostas out, I will usually go for the biggest that I can afford. And then I also look for, I don't know if you can see this, ones that have clear division of plants. I could, I don't know if you can see that, I could probably get three hosta plants out of this one hosta. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with two because I don't want to um, shock it too much. Next year or the year after, I'll be able to divide it and get even more. But this year I think I'm gonna go with trying to get two out of this one plant. I also purchased three of this Bronzed Beauty Bugleweed. It's actually a Juga Reptans. I think that's how you say it. Um, they like part shade. They will stay um, fairly small, maybe 12 to 18 inches and that includes the little spike of purple flower. Isn't that pretty? Um, so I have three of these. They will obviously go along the front. I told you before that I found some um, columbine in a six pack, which is always nice. So I will also add these to the shade garden because here in zone 10, they like semi shade. I have already been adding things from around the garden that maybe were struggling in full sun or that I knew could tolerate part shade. Plus I have about 32 foxglove started that I will put in this fall. And I think that's really gonna be spectacular in the spring. So the first thing I have to do is clean out what I can from the area that, that I'm gonna plant. I wanna amend the soil just a little bit. It's been actually pretty good soil to work with, but I'm gonna amend it just a little bit. And then I'm gonna get these plants in the ground and I'll show you how it all comes together. And then I'll give you a little peek at the way the railroad garden is going to actually come into the shade garden. I think it's gonna be really, really pretty and I'm excited for it all to come together. But I would love to know from you, what are your favorite shade garden plants? Um, I try to go to the nursery regularly and see what they have and um, see what I would like to add to here, but I'm always, always curious to see what other people are growing in their shade gardens and do you have a shade garden? So let me go ahead and get this started. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Just for reference, the shade garden is right next to this little seating area and then the homestead area. So let me show you what I have in here so you know where I'm starting from. The boxwood hedge has been in here probably about a year. We have not trimmed it at all. We will probably not do that until um, probably the fall, maybe very early spring. This is where I put in those three hydrangeas that I found at Lowe's for $5 a piece. I have a few foxglove in here. I transplanted some columbine that was struggling um, in the sun garden. So in the main perennial bed, I brought that over here and it seems to have taken nicely that poor beautiful azalea has been in probably five different spots in our home. The same can be said of this hibiscus, which 
is just coming into bloom. Let me see if I can get one of these for you. Aren't those beautiful? Now you would think hibiscus would like the sun, but this, whatever this is, seems to prefer um, partial shade. So it is really doing well here. So this area here is where I need to clean up. And actually those um, cinder blocks my husband will use in the railroad. This is just an old bird feeder, trash, stuff like that. So let me take you this way. The railroad garden, this upper tier here will come down. We've decided we don't like it, he's decided. And the actual railroad area will come through here around that tree and I think in front of this tree and that's where it will stop. So then right here is where the actual shade garden begins. So it's actually quite a nice area that I have to work with here and then it will um, transition into plantings around the railroad but that is like whole different project I'm not even thinking about it as the same project I will figure out a way to smoothly transition when the time comes but for right now this area here it's probably about 30 feet long and here's its widest point is probably 15 feet maybe um, so that is the area I'm going to concentrate on today I'd like to get planted right up to the end of the hibiscus um, with what I have, but we'll see. We never know, and then we have to allow that a lot of these things are gonna fill in. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but there are one, two, three plants in here, but I am only going to divide this here. I'm gonna leave this big one together and then this smaller one. Um, when they're larger, you can just take a shovel through it, but because this is a new plant, I am just going to try to get it with my trowel. It's always scary, it's like operating on a plant, but when you think about how much money it's saving you, oh. ideally you want to get a nice root ball on both sides. if I can't gently pry it apart and you're gonna hear a crack try not to panic okay 
one plant and see I could actually take these two but it's a new plant like I said so I'm gonna leave this chunk together and then I have a second one here so my $12 purchase just got doubled let me get these planted Have it all watered in and I love it this is where I put that ajunga I tucked the columbine in here and there you can see the hosta isn't it beautiful? I put the smaller one in the front and the bigger one in the back. I think it's gonna be so beautiful. Got all of this weeded. There's a couple more of the columbine. I did move the blocks over there. I'm not sure how far he's coming with the track. So I'm kind of going to stop here. Um, I know what I have in mind for the front here. I'm not going to say quite yet. I'm waiting for it um, either to go on sale or for there to be probably five of what I want um, that I just can't resist. But for now it's just nice and clean and green. And I adore it I really 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 <laughs> one more really I'm so pleased with the way it turned out these like I said will have nice purple spikes on them you see that one there um, foxglove is just about done but like I said I have plenty more to put in for next spring There's a peek at my next project, but those are sun loving. I spruced up this little seating area here. A few more shade loving pots in the back here. And I love this view as well. Obviously, I can't wait for it to fill in, but gardening is all about patience and it's always worth it.